Yeah, I'm crying. crying. <laughs> Not because I'm sad, though. It's, it's because I had to cut this onion for our lab today. Hey, we got a neat lab to do today. We're going to be looking at our instructions. We're going to be comparing plant and animal cells by examining onion, our good friend onion here, and cheek cells from the inside of our mouth. This is going to be very interesting for you. We've got our onion, we've got a couple of slides here, some cover slips that I pre-cleaned. We've got a little beaker of water, we've got our toothpicks here, we're going to need. we've got a little scalpel here, and we've got some methylene blue and some iodine for stain. We've got a pair of forceps here just in case we need them. And of course we need our trusty uh, lens paper to clean our microscope. So our microscope needs to be really clean for this lab today. Our instructions say to remove the single layer of epithelial cells from the inner or the concave side of a piece of onion. This is what we're after. It's very thin. It's only one cell thick. We're going to place it on our slide. Put a couple of drops of water with it. And we're going to add a cover slip. Now that's got a lot of extra water on it, so we're going to use the technique we learned before when we learn how to use the microscope. I'm going to wipe some of that water off. So if it gets on our stage, it could cause complications. There we go. And we'll make a slide. Let's focus it see what we got. Okay, this is what we see on our scanning scope. Let's focus this a little bit. We're going to focus down. And you can see everything coming into focus there, okay? Right about there. Now, let's adjust the light just a little bit. And you're going to see a lot of things start happening. Ah, that's much better. We can see much better there. So you have typical cells here of an onion root tip. This is the uh, what you would call low power. And let's switch to high power, see what we come up with. Okay, we're going to have to refocus with our fine adjustment. And there you go. We can see the cell wall very clearly. Now we're going to move this, we, we're using a mechanical stage so we can move our slide around and find some different things. Let's, let's look at this cell right here, okay? See that right there? That the pointer's pointing at? That is the nucleus of the cell. We move it over here a little bit. This is the cell wall. All this material in the middle here is the cytoplasm. Now we're on 400x. We're going to have to uh, focus a little bit here. There's our there it came right into view. Okay, so the pointer is pointing right at the cell wall. And we take our mechanical stage, we can move up, and we can barely see the nucleus of the cell right there. Okay, so we're going to go back to low power. So on low power, we can see the whole cell. We have the very close to the nucleus right there of the cell. We have the, go back up here, okay, the cell wall, and everything else inside is the cytoplasm. Everything inside, this liquid part is the cytoplasm. And we know there's mitochondria there, we know there's vesicles, all sorts of other organelles, but we can't see them with our light microscope, even if we magnify it 400 times. So we're going to use the technique that we learned. We're going to take some iodine, and we're going to put it on the edge of the slide. Okay. 
And you can see how the stain is moving under the slide, and it's going to make things easier to see. Okay, so this is low power again. And we're going to we're going to take our mechanical stage. We're just going to move it around a little bit, see if we can find some cells. There you go, this one right on the edge. Of course, it's going to get the stain the fastest because it's right on the edge. Let's turn to high power and turn our fine adjustment. Well, let's adjust it there a little bit. Turn our fine adjustment. And there's the nucleus. We can see it much better with the stain on it. Back to low power. So there's a very nice slide to draw right there. Okay, now we've taken cheek cells from the inside of my mouth, and we need to focus this a little bit. Remember our trick about focusing the microscope? Once we get it focused, it should still say pretty close in focus. So that's what the cheek cells look like on low power. Let's look at them on high power. Okay, and let's focus this just a little bit. There we go, let's move around. There's a, a couple of cells right there. Let's move around, let's see if we can find some that are prime examples of cheek cells. These are all very nice examples. I'd like to find one that's, there we go, right there. There's three of them right there, side by side. Now this is on high power. Okay, and so we're gonna turn our fine adjustment. And we're gonna use a mechanical stage. We can see the cell membrane on the outside, and then we have three cells in a row here. Do you see them? You got one, two, three, and each one has a dark nucleus in the middle of it. We, we looked around a little bit more, and we found one cell all by itself. Okay. This is high power. How big is the cell? Well, there you go, class. That wasn't really too tough. We used the onion, just a little piece of the onion skin to look at plant cells. We used some cheek cells from the inside of my mouth. We got them off with just a little toothpick. We used iodine stain to stain the plant cells. We used methylene blue to stain the cheek cells because each stain works on a different tissue differently. Uh, let's go back to the classroom and let's uh, Talk about what we learned today. Turn, but we can still have fun for now.